one that uh, that you will be able to help explain. You are a business owner. You get how this stuff works. Oliver Luck, who was the CEO of the XFL, uh, is suing Vince McMahon. Now, that's what the headline reads. Uh, the that's story, all the information we've gotten so far. Yeah, the, the story reads, former XFL commissioner, sorry, he wasn't the CEO, he was the commissioner. Uh, Oliver Luck has sued owner Vince McMahon in federal court, citing wrongful termination after McMahon's decision to shutter the league. According to the complaint filed last week in U.S. District Court in Connecticut, Luck received a termination letter on April 9th, a day before McMahon laid off most of the XFL staff and three days before the league filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Luck wholly disputes and rejects the allegations set forth in the termination letter and contends they are pretextual and devoid of merit per the complaint. Uh, McMahon is the chairman and CEO of the WWE, owner of Alpha Entertainment, which is the parent company of the XFL. Uh, It says most of the lawsuit was redacted. Luck's contract, he was hired in May of 2018, and it was a deal worth approximately $20 million over its lifespan. Luck was not listed among creditors in the XFL's bankruptcy filings, but the lawsuit alleges breach of contract. So it goes into all of these different things. Um, And obviously McMahon's lawyer is saying, you know, uh, all of these allegations are going to be disputed. Um, You'll see whenever we file a response to the lawsuit and blah, 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 blah. I, I initially felt really bad for Oliver Luck for this happening because he was in a great position Working for the NCAA, he's the former athletic director at West Virginia, among other places. This is Andrew Luck's dad. Uh, he, I'm, I'm guessing he thought that this was kind of a retirement plan by going to the XFL, $20 million. You know he wasn't making that with the NCAA. Uh, I think this was kind of a retirement plan. Hey, this is a good idea. I think we're going to be able to see it through. And then you hear all of this stuff about the XFL is built to last at least for three years, and da 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 And then you get the pandemic, everything goes to hell in a handbasket, and Vince says, okay, we got to cut the losses now. Let's go on and shut this thing down. Maybe I'll think about opening it up later on down the line. But right now, we don't know what the future looks like. I'm not going to waste my money. So, and it, it, I think it's a smart business decision by Vince McMahon, but, man, it sucks for Oliver Luck. Now, explain how this actually works because – he he can't actually sue Vince, right? Yeah, I, he's he's not suing Vince McMahon. He's suing whatever company his contract was with. Okay, and if that's the XFL, and that con and that company is in the process of being dissolved and has filed bankruptcy, it doesn't matter that they fired him before they did all that or not. I think now I don't know. I'm just using speculation. He being the commissioner of the league was probably against the bankruptcy decision and shutting the league down, and they terminated him so they could go forward with the bankruptcy. It it happens all the time in big companies where somebody on the board gets removed from the board. They get removed from the company because they are holding up the progress that the company wants to go through, Um, and there's usually litigation that follows after that. Wrongful termination is extremely hard to prove, Especially if now I don't know is this a business in New York? Is this business founded in Florida? There's another thing. Different states have in the state of Mississippi where we live is a right to work state. Okay, I would venture to say that Florida is also a right to work state. Now this was this was filed in Connecticut. Would that have anything to do with? No, where you file the you can file it from anywhere. That, that doesn't always mean that's where the company was based out of. Now, it could be where the company's based out of. I don't know. I can't speak to that. Um, I, I know this, that if it was, if this is all ran in a right-to-work state area, wrongful termination is extremely difficult to prove. Yeah. It just is. It, it just is because you have the right, while you have a contract with somebody, you know, those those contracts are only as 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 good as, I guess, the attorneys behind them. Um, and I'm sure that Oliver's got really good attorneys at twenty million dollars at the value. You know, yeah, I'm sure that's a that's a that's a big chunk of change and that brings a lot of sharks to the table. Um, Vince is gonna have that as well. And this isn't his first rodeo with starting something and shutting it down. Uh, I, I just like I said, if he's filed, you know, for bankruptcy and is in the process of dissolving the entity that Oliver Luck is suing, good luck getting anything from them. 
because they're about to not exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you've already got a list of creditors uh, and you're not included on it, it's tough to be included on that list, uh, especially yep. if you were fired before, you know, it, it, it's... And it's I'm curious the terms of his firement, his his firement, his termination. But but like I said, if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that Vince was was making a plan to file bankruptcy, and all of the people on the board, the commissioner of the league, has to be on the whatever board he's running. And and I'm going to bet he disagreed with it, and he was fighting to try to keep the league, you know, and and, and keep. But it's not his money. Yeah. And he's you know, and so you know, you just you just terminate him, you move him out of the way. And then you go forward with the with the shutting down of the of the business, and that I mean that just happens in business sometimes. But this is this is not. It's going to be painted as Oliver Luck versus Vince McMahon, and 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 one guy is probably a likable figure in the sports world, and the other one is probably a joke or a, or an unlikable figure. But at the end of the day, that's just not how this is going to play out. Yeah, now that makes sense. Mike uh, Mike jumped in, said Florida is a right-to-work state, and most of the states in the country are moving to right-to-work. Uh, yep. And that would make sense.